We're having a bit of a dingy situation. That is never a good sign. This is a very much I told you so moment. I got my stick. <laughs> Ready for a fire. We're supposed to get uh, some rain this afternoon and since we do all of our cooking outside and since we don't have like a dodger or anything, we put up our baby tarp. This is our summer tarp. It's tiny. It is tiny. I think we have like a mid-sized one actually, but yeah. this one will do. Yeah, this is hilarious. Yeah. It's like, it's like a <laughs> six by four tarp. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's working. We, this is one of those things that we like found deep inside the boat, but it works well. And uh, yeah, it's so much more manageable than the big, big gray one too. It's nice. We can take it up and down super easy. The rain just started. Just now? Yeah. Perfect timing. Document? You don't need these. These are just bills. <laughs> don't have any bills on boat. You don't have to pay your bills when you live on a boat. <laughs> what are they gonna send you a, another bill? <laughs> we'll get to you. <laughs> okay. Like We're slowly figuring out the our wood stove. It's a little bit finicky, but um, yeah, some of our neighbors give us some fantastic advice, and it's been working really well. We've really been loving it now that we don't have our little space heaters to keep us warm. <laughs> We're actually just noticing we have to be careful before the fire starts going and it's like smoking. What happens is um, it's like, it's windy today, but not super, super windy. And so it's like coming across and then it's wrapping in, um, it's coming like across the boat and then kind of like curling in towards the cockpit. So um, we'll have to figure out cause we don't want smoke coming in here, obviously. If you have any advice for that, let us know.
Veggie sausage. Veggie sausage. C cooking up a storm out there. Yeah. It's so nice cooking outside these days. We're having our usual, which is souvlaki, or basically like veggie sausage and falafel type meal um, with some potatoes. I have a feeling we're gonna be eating a lot of this this summer because it's so quick and so easy and delicious. Yeah, you really only need to cook like one thing. Ketchup. For the potatoes. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. I actually don't know what that song is. I think it's Old Lang Syne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sri Racha. Meet me. The breeze just shifted for the night. One eighty spin. Well, we just took our nice evening walk that we've been in the habit of doing for the last few days since we've been here. And we're going to make some peppermint tea. And hopefully try to watch a movie. We get enough cell phone coverage here to stream sometimes. It like cuts in and out, but we think we'll we'll be able to do that tonight. We've been watching parts of the Caribbean because I feel it's like the best movie ever. it's kind of the best movie. We're we're only on movie two. I watched the Pirates of the Caribbean movies when I think I saw the first movie when I was like seven or eight. And those movies are super cool if you're also like sailing around and stuff because you get to see the big ships moving and yeah, it's fun to think about. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a fun childhood fantasy, I guess. <laughs> now but we're pirates. Now we're real pirates now. <laughs> no. Well, I guess we're... I doubt people just recreated around back in the day. Yeah, true. Maybe like explorers, but they still use big ships. So. Yeah. Maybe we're just the explorers or something. We're gonna get ransacked. <laughs> I've really, really been loving how much time we spend outside these days. And I think part of that is just because it's summer and it's nice weather and stuff. But I think a big part of it too is that we've left the city. And for whatever reason, I, when I'm in the city, I tend to sort of, you know, hide away. But when I'm out in sort of a little bit more remote places, um, I definitely prefer to be out and about. The temperatures definitely still drop at night on the water. There's usually a significant difference between where we are and on land. So it can mean for some pretty chilly mornings, which can sort of make cooking outside seem unappealing at times. But to be honest, like one of my favorite things is waking up, getting out of bed, and most of the time it's actually warmer outside than it is in the boat. I think the boat kind of like insulates the coolness from the evening. It's sort of a funny morning ritual that we have where you get up, you put on often very, very cold, sort of damp feeling clothing, and then you open up the hatch and yeah, it's it's warmer and I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's really nice and it kind of wakes you up too, to be honest, but yeah, I've really been loving it so far and I know it'll only get better as the summer continues, so.
and this tarp is working really well because we haven't been getting like huge rains but it's just like little spitting rain um, and yeah it's just nice to be able to have a little bit of cover when we're opening the hatch and cooking and stuff. I think we're gonna take a super chill morning and have coffee in the cockpit and then yeah hopefully go on a hike and go do some exploring today. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Old milk. Barista. Thank you. Have one. <laughs> this will look okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just gonna be so good. Yeah, this stuff is super good. Yeah. Yeah, I, it works. Well. I don't know what's different about it, but it seems better. Yeah, well, I think probably because it's more oaty, like oat, more oat milk, less water. No, less like oil. Because sometimes they put oil in these, but this is just like straight up oat milk. But it's what do you think makes it barista? It's thicker. That's oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> it foams, it steams, it's stable, <laughs> and flavor is neutral. They like refine it more or something, like strain it through a strainer or something. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, yum. We just got a solid couple hours of work done. Um, so we're gonna reward ourselves with a hike. Get some movement in. What are you doing there? Scream. 
So, as we mentioned earlier in this video, we're having a bit of a dinghy situation. Um, our engine, we were running it and we think we might have blown a seal. We noticed a little bit of oil leaking and so we obviously didn't want that to go into water. So that's been decommissioned until we can figure it out and get to it. And then in the meantime, so here's the story of our dinghy. The dinghy came with the boat when we purchased it. One of the original paddles had been lost. And so it was replaced by um, sort of like just some Canadian tire, um, just sort of like low cost paddles which have done us really well for the last two years except they have like this plastic um i'll show you in a minute but they have like this plastic piece like they come apart and so they have a plastic piece joining the two parts together which is obviously the weak point and yeah i guess it got brittle and when we were paddling back one day it snapped in half uh so that was fun trying to get the dinghy back to the boat but anyway long story short we were probably gonna order a new proper paddle for this but in the meantime while we don't have our engine we need two paddles at work so we bought um, like a, an aluminum paddle and we're hoping that works we're gonna try and drill a hole and we know that probably drilling a hole will maybe make that a bit of weak point but at least then we can row it like a robo at least we can row it like a robo right now kind of both of us need to be in there it's so funny right now we both sit at the bow and we both have a side so this will open it up a little bit and yeah temporary solution but we're working there okie dokie okay so this is our new one goodness and to be honest there wasn't as much of a selection and we are only in the city, we only had, we didn't have long to get one, so this is the only one that we could find. But they're the same size. And... Here's our old paddle. <laughs> so, you can see it snapped, like literally this is Plastic where it snapped. Chip. It's like hollow plastic, so we've been we were, we we're probably stressing it a little bit too much. We were potentially stressing it, but it, sh it should be able to paddle a boat. Anyway, this is garbage, um, and we're gonna get this one in action. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't weaken the aluminum too much. Anyway, it's an experiment. This is all we got, so we kind of have to. Okay, let's do it. Hard to do. Change of plans. We're gonna try and drill a pilot. There we go. Nice. Woohoo! What do you think? Did it work? Uh, yeah. Does it fit? Wow, dinghy's back in action. We won't like like goose paddling <laughs> side by side. Oh yeah. We're back in business. Woohoo! You gonna go take her for a row? <laughs> Sorry. See ya. How's it feel? Well, that feels good. We got to a point where we, neither of us could, we had to both go to land if either of us wanted to go to land because it's so hard to row. <laughs> That is never a good sign. <laughs> Poor Jonas. We have removed both spark plugs from the dinghy and uh, good news is that they're looking really gummed up. 
not gummed up, but like they were oily. Um, so we're really hoping that we're gonna clean them off, try and burn off some of the oil, and then we're hoping we'll be able to start the engine again. So, fingers crossed, because <laughs> we only have, we're down to one paddle again. We kind of jinxed ourselves. Uh, this is a very much I told you so moment, I believe, earlier in the video. We said we know this will weaken the metal, but we hope it lasts for a bit. And it did last for a bit, but uh, yeah, not forever. So um, yeah, spark plug, option number two. Okay, here we go. Hope this is it. Well, we figured out the engine problems. I don't think it had any, anything to do with spark plugs. Uh, it turns out our kill switch is all messed up. It's got like a crack in it, so we're gonna have to replace that. Um, but for now, I think we'll be able to actually get it going. We just need to tape it or something. <laughs> we'll still be able to like, it'll still work as a kill switch. Um, but yeah, so good news and bad news. Forever trying to fix the dinghy engine. <laughs> She's a good engine, she just needs a little love sometimes. <laughs> That feels good. Feels kind of silly. We uh, were trying all the spark plugs and stuff. Turns out it was the kill switch, but nice. Well, we'll definitely get a replacement for that right now. It's just taped, but it works for now.